carefree and wrinkly with teeth like a saber-toothed tiger, these naked mole rats could unlock the secrets of the hormone oxytocin, also known as the molecule of love. Scientists at London's Queen Mary University and King's College London are assessing the behaviour of the tiny rodents. Dr Chris Fawkes has been studying the mammals for around two decades. Um, other studies have suggested that um, they're less prone to cancer as well than other mammals. And that we're particularly interested in how their highly social behaviour has evolved, why operate to such an extent, and then underlying that, what is it about their uh, physiological and neurobiological makeup that enables them to behave in, in that way. The rodents' behaviour could also hold the key to human cooperation. They work together in a colony, with the queen seen here showing who's boss. The other naked mole rats act as workers looking after the babies and defending the others. The queen mates with two or three males, and the rest have their reproduction suppressed, becoming sexless. That's also where oxytocin comes in, as it's known for its role in female reproduction, and the mole rat's behaviour could hold the key to how humans pair up and mate. But it isn't just human cooperation that the scientists are looking into. They believe the creatures can sniff out the answers to other human conditions, like autism. South African scientist Clive Cohen is also involved in the research project. And we're very interested in knowing what determines what molecular biological aspect of this system, what it is about the gene for the oxytocin receptor and its promoter regions will determine where it's expressed and how much of it is expressed. Um, this is potentially of interest in the human context because variation in the oxytocin receptor has been associated in certain aspects of autistic spectrum disorder. The creatures whose natural habitat is usually countries like Kenya and Ethiopia can live for up to 30 years. Scientists also say their genetic makeup could help with research into life expectancy. Basma Fahim, Reuters.